Oh, are you ready to talk to some people today, Uncle Mark? I, I wasn't. I wasn't told I had to talk to anybody. <laughs> well, but you I'll came to the wrong place. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll put on my my missionary. Uh, my I'll get on my bicycle and do my best. All right. <laughs> I'm excited for that. I I if I could see pictures of that. If we had a picture of you on the bicycle, I'd like to replace that with the weasel. I think that'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't do the mission, but I, I I'm I'm ready now. All right. Well, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is our first call coming from uh, Boyd K. Packer. Uh, my contacts are blurring up on me here. Uh, he wants to talk to us about belief in the church and the way that they view sexuality. Um, Boyd, are you there? Yes, this is Boyd K. Packer. Hello. How are you doing today? I I am quite well. I was resurrected from the grave this morning, so it's been a little bit of an odd day. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. I think we lost Uncle Mark here in a second. I'm going to try to get him back on. Um, so anyway, tell me more about this uh, belief that you have. I'm assuming you're joking. I'm hoping you're joking. I'm not sure if I know you. Maybe you know Uncle Mark. Is that what's going on? Well, I I hear I hear things coming from Mark, and I don't necessarily agree with them. Wait a minute! He, wait a minute! Hold on! I recognize that voice. That's Bryce Blankenagle, isn't it? This this is this is the reanimated corpse of <laughs> Boyd K. Packer. <laughs> I don't know who this, you guys this blank. Person. <laughs> you can't do these Mormon deep cuts on me, okay? I just, I won't catch on to it, and you make me feel foolish. I don't like it. I don't like it, Bryce. Hey, I, this is Mark. I just tied to Colob in the twinkling of an eye, but I'm back. <laughs> I, I missed the whole first part of that conversation. Well, uh, Boyd K. Packer is here, and he wants to talk to you, and he's come back from the grave. <laughs> oh, jeez. Is there, Boyd? Is he there? Oh, shoot. We're having some issues on this line tonight. Uh, really sorry about this, folks. Um, hopefully, Boyd K. Packer can come back and call again. Uh, <laughs> I, I really hope that happens because that was really interesting. Um, that guy's a real piece of work, and he's dead. So um, if he can call in at all, that's amazing. Yep, yep, that's for sure. I'm glad because um, Boyd K. Packer has actually called back even after those oh, technical Jesus. difficulties. So we're getting Boyd back on here. Boyd, you're live on Truth Wanted. Uh, go ahead and, and say what you were saying earlier because I think Mark missed some of that. <laughs> yes, I'm glad that I got to see more of your film here because I, I understand the blasphemy that is said by this <laughs> community of Austin and, and this Mark person on the call. He, he's really starting to grind against my feathers. Well, I, I, I hope I'm not disturbing your little factory, Elder Elder Packer. It's good to good to, to hear you from oh. beyond the grave. Well, it is. It's good to be partially reanimated. Of course, I just have use of my head and vocal cords. Other than that, it's been a very, very trying day for me. Whoever practiced this black magic is, <laughs> uh, they're, they're going to hell where they belong. I think it's black magic that you're calling us on the line right now. Honestly, I don't know how you're doing that. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, the, yes, the... I, I, I don't know how you kids deal with these. These screens and things, it's, it's, it just, it's, it's not what God would want. <laughs> well, uh, the call, the, I was expecting more of a lag from Colab this time of day. So uh, it's wonderful to hear that we're, uh, we're connected by the miracle of, uh, I guess, the Liahona. <laughs> well, you see here, I'm so glad that you speak of Kola because I happen to have a better idea of God's will than you do. Of and course, I'll repeat here, I have been hearing so much blasphemy on this phone call, and I keep hearing that this Mark person is a homosexual. <laughs> and that is, that is just... Utterly perverse. And <laughs> what happened to you, Mark? Who hurt you in the church? Oh well, I've got to say, I, uh, Elder Packer, I know that that I probably think about uh, uh, penises a lot, but I dare say, in your six hundred years on Earth, you thought about penises a lot more than I did. 
that you have no evidence to prove that. <laughs> she, you are clearly within the grasp of the adversary, and it is because you have viewed too much pornography and you are addicted to homosexual and perverse pornography, and that is... <laughs> Makes you think that you're something that you're not. I can't. I can't do this anymore. I'm quitting the show. This is too much. Well, this is too much. This what, is the what, call what that broke me. Convincing conversation we're having, Elder Packer. <laughs> you really have really brought up some amazing points. <laughs> yeah, it's such deep well, nuance. If, and... if you would have gone on a mission, I would really hope that your mission companion would have set you straight. If you ever yeah, the, old, came the, up old, to him. the old punch in the face gay reset, which is uh, uh, which was uh, you highly recommended, didn't you, in your life, Elder Packer? Oh, yeah, it, it clearly worked for me multiple times. See, there it is, folks. Those Mormon deep cuts. I just, it's there. It's there for the taking. If you know it, I, I don't think any non more non ex Mormons are listening to the show anymore. <laughs> I I think that that. Anybody who claims to be ex-Mormon has just let go of the long and hard iron rod, and they, they <laughs> You're grabbing like onto an iron to rod is the last of Mark's problems, building. I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you can even say <laughs> such a thing. <laughs> well, next, I'll take your advice, and next time the, the, the evil spirit moves me, I will tie my hand to the bedpost or think of my grandmother's face, so... Uh, 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 that, yes, that, and definitely not your grandfather's face. No, no, thank you. Excellent advice. Do you guys have an ability to hang up a call? Is we do We do up? have the ability to hang up a call. I'm wondering if uh, Boyd would like to reveal his true identity, if he had anything else to say before we uh, moved oh, on. Hey, oh, hey, guys, guys, are you there? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I put him down. I put him down again. He's he's gone. He will uh, he will hopefully never bother this realm ever again. I'm so sorry to bother you guys with with that. Good. I, Bryce, I, did, I, did, that will never happen again. Did your countenance become that of Elder Packer while you were standing at the podium? <laughs> yes, it was very. I I, I went a and my my face was shining. I didn't like it, I, and I. I I'll never try that kind of spell again. That that is some that's some deep Joseph Smith kind of magic that I don't even think he ever mastered. Mm. That's not, well, not, I hope, good. I, not I, good. I I hope that never happens to you again, Bryce. Uh, likewise. Uh, take care, gentlemen. I hope you, the rest of your program is fantastic. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right. Put your shoulder to the wheel. Have a great day, Bryce. Bye. Oh man, that was Bryce Blake and Nagel from the Naked Mormonism podcast. Uh, for Let those me. of you who are out of the loop. Let me just say to any of anybody in the Mormons, not in the Mormon spectrum out there, Boyd K. Packer was one of the twelve apostles, so one of the you know the 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 power thirteen of the Mormon Church, and he was a lifelong, uh, lifelong obsessive about boys masturbating. That was his whole thing, um, and punching gay guys in the face on on your mission. So, what well, super right good guy. Right on, right on. Yeah, I too yeah. think about boys masturbating and preach on it often. I think it's something that we definitely need to talk about a lot more in our society, for sure. Uh, let's, <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, if you talk about it all day, every day, then the police should probably look into it. 